we are who we are today because of where we come from and what we've been through. Mi nombre es Aime Cruz y he tenido tres trasplantes de hígado. I grew up in Puerto Rico with my grandparents. They would take us on trips around the island to get to know where we've come from and why we lived a certain way. We're a very spiritual community. When somebody gets sick, the first thing we do is pray. I had my first transplant when I was 15. The pressures from society, the pressures growing up from two different cultures, that took a toll on, on my being and where I stood in this world. I was trying to take my life. And now, throughout the years, I've been fighting so hard to live my life. A miracle happened and I received a transplant. It was November 3rd of 1992. That was the beginning of my introduction to Gift of Life. Five years after my first transplant, so in 1997, my daughter was born. I was actually part of a research group that helped determine like what medications I was taking and what effects it would have on the baby. We were able to help the transplant community in general just because we saw that she was born healthy. I was able to bring another life into this world because of someone's unselfish gift to me. She's my miracle. The pregnancy was very hard on my body, very hard on the liver. Uh, made my body work over time and, and being immunocompromised, you know, I was susceptible to so many things. I started forgetting things because the toxins in my body were not being filtered through my liver. I was put on the waiting list in 1999. I didn't get my second transplant until 2002. I was scared, but at the same time, because I've been through so much, I always have this positive outlook. My main focus, I think, during that time was making sure that Veronica was okay. Making sure she had a normal life, she had a childhood. She went through a really rough time. Seeing her mom sick and going to kindergarten and saying to the teacher and to the rest of her friends, my mom's getting a liver transplant. What four-year-old says that? <laughs> so she had already been through so much. Then there came the time where I got the call. It was kind of sad, it's bittersweet, you know, because somebody has to lose their life to give somebody else life. But that person can save so many lives. There are so many myths, especially in our community, just because of the fact that there's been a mistrust with doctors, with the medical system. So it's, it's good that we educate ourselves so in turn we can educate others and let them know why people have to have transplants, why people need tissue, you know, but there are so many ways that you can save a life. There are so many ways that you can help people. In 2015, I began getting sick again and I started feeling like I couldn't walk as fast my legs started swelling, I started getting jaundiced. They said, yeah, you have a autoimmune hepatitis. I guess something triggered it in my system that it started affecting all of my body. I almost died. I was given the blessing to go in peace and a miracle happened. The three liver transplants that I've had Every experience has been different, and it's impacted me in a way where I've grown. I've become more spiritual, more empathetic. Es muy importante compartir mi historia con los demás. Uno nunca sabe cuando uno va a tener una tragedia y va a necesitar cuidado médico tan serio como el que yo he recibido. Yo veo la vida de una forma tan diferente ahora. La veo con Tanto agradecimiento, con tanta belleza a nuestro alrededor.